YouTube, what's up? It's your boy who is King Sean, and we back again with another classic. You know, on this channel, we talk about personal credit, we talk about business credit, we talk about anything to take you and your family to that next level. So, a lot of people is having a lot of misunderstanding about business credit card, and I'm starting to learn that more than ever. Every time I do a one-on-one -on -one with a client, and we're going over the business side. Um, they're very misunderstood about business credit cards and where do they report. Now, just to let you know, people get excited when they get their first business credit card. They're excited. They say, hey, man, this is going to be important to my business side. I'm going to get a nice score. It's going to be shooting up. You know, they're really happy. They're excited. Now, I did a one-on-one -on -one with a young lady about a couple weeks ago, and um, she tells me, hey, man, I got a business. I have a restaurant. Um, I've been using my business credit card. I'm trying to get some funding, but my score is a little low. So I said, what is your score on the business side? She let me know everything. Um, the scores is really low. I said, is that credit card that you keep telling me about reporting to the business credit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Um, how do you know? Do you have NAS? Do you have Duns & Brad? Are you watching these business scores? How do you know? Um, she really didn't know at the end of the day. And the card she had is the one that we're looking at right now is the American Express Business Cash Card. Now, I'm going to let you know right now, American Express Business Cash Card do not report to the Business Credit Bureau. So if you think you're going to get this card and it's going to start reporting, you're going to get these great scores and you're going to go three months later and get some business funding. Hey, man, I need a hundred thousand. I got a restaurant. I'm, I'm about to grow to the next level. Um, I have a barbershop. I have a salon, nail salon, whatever it may be. You're going to be denied. You need accounts reporting to your business side. You could get more into that in my past videos. We're talking about business credit cards. So let's go through a couple today. Business American Express, do not report. So if you have it out there, I'm going to let you know. This one is not reporting. Sorry to tell you. Let's go to the next one. We're going to try to run through this. American Express Business Plus card. Now, both of these cards I have. This card does not report to your business credit profile. So you will not be getting those scores. It will be nothing <laughs> document about this card when it comes to business, when it comes to Experian business, Dun & Bradstreet, and Equifax business. So that's zero for two. Let's move right along. Another card that I have, one of my favorites. Hold on, let me refresh this real quick. <clears throat> Give me a second. Uh, give me one second. Okay. One of my first cards I ever had out of all my cards is the Wells Fargo Business Platinum Credit Card. Now, this card, just to let you know, do not report to the Business Credit Bureau. So you'll get no scores for this. Let's move along. Next one. Chase. Everybody loves Chase. We got the business premiere. We got the business unlimited and we got the business cash. Now I have the business unlimited and the business cash. And guess what, people? These cards do not report to the business credit bureau. So you will not get no scores for these cards too. Now is a little different with them. Now if you really want these cards to report, they do have a relationship with Dun & Bradstreet, right? But this is the steps you're going to have to do. You're going to have to call up Dun & Bradstreet, not Chase, and tell Dun & Bradstreet, hey, listen, I know you have a relationship with Chase. Um, I have one or two business credit cards. I would like to have these cards start reporting monthly. Can you start pulling these cards monthly? They will have you sign a paper, they, you know, dock it signed, you know, send it back to them every month. It will start reporting. But again, if you don't know this information, guess what, people? This will not be reporting to your business side. Now, I spoke to in the past year, a lot of people that have Chase and not one person know that this card is not reporting to their business side. 
Um, people, we have to get the information. We need to stop being lazy and we need to do the work. Again, people, stop scrolling, find the information, and let's do the work. Let's move right along. Next one. Bank of America business card that I do have. Now, I do have the Business Advantage Customized Cash Reward MasterCard. Um, this card, I think I got like 12.5 on it. Now, this card now have did my business credit very well. Why? Because they, if you get any of these cards on the business side, they report to Dun and Bradstreet and they report to Experian Business. So if you're looking for a card to apply for once you think you are qualified, now don't be out there with a 600. <laughs> You got no tier ones, no tier. Think you're just going to go be applying for this. Go back on my old videos. You got to follow steps. Now, this will really keep your score up there. And just by having this card, my score on the business side, what Experian and Dun & Brad is to the moon. I'm just going to say like that. Um, Experian is, ve is a very great you know, bank. I have business checking accounts with them. So this is one you want to keep on the list. When you get to that point of your life that you're growing and you're looking into business credit cards, look into this one. Why again, people? Because they report to two out of three business credit bureaus. Let's move along. We ain't trying to drag it out, man. I'm trying to give you out this game, man. Now, one of my favorites, this is probably my second favorite right here. This is the FNBO business credit card. You know, you could go and get pre-qualified. That's to let you know. Another hack. Go get pre-qualified right here. Now, when I did the video, um, it went crazy. A lot of people was applying for it. Um, within about four months after <clears throat> I dropped this video, they stopped the applications and they started making wait lists. But this is a great card. Um, this card and probably my Bank of America is the two cards I use a lot. Now, remember, you have to use your business credit wisely and very smart. This card, guess what? This card reports to the credit bureau. Now, it, it reports to only one, Dun & Bradstreet. So again, that's another card reporting on my business side. Now, I have others, and I have gas cards we're going to get into that's going to be on another video i'm going to tell you where the gas cards pull from and where they report into but evergreen is a great great card i have the personal and they started me off when i first got this it was my second card after the wells fargo they gave me fifteen thousand dollars. great card i use it every day now we're going to move right along and any of these cards if you want information on it i got videos on it so i'm not going to be talking about apr um, it, we're not going to talk about any of that. I got videos on all these cards. Now, the next card, that's probably the worst card. I'm not going to say in the world, but probably my top two worst cards ever coming up. And this is the Navy Federal Business Credit Card. Now, this card right here, if you are a Navy Federal member, you already know. Just to get this card at one point, not now, let's make it clear because then people will be in my comments. At one point, you had to do literally a paper application and mail it in. Not too long ago. Uh, I think in the past year, they upgraded a little bit. So now you could go right to the portal, do the application, email it right back to them. Very simple, very easy. Um, I got approved for them. Um, but I don't use this card. And again, guess what, people? We have another card that do not report to the business credit. So um, I get a lot of people always asking. They, they get so excited. They want to they apply for the I'm a Navy Federal business credit card. People, please stay away from it. It has no benefits. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not even going to get into it. I got videos on it. It's horrible. It's beyond horrible. It's like when I say them 500 credit scores in the grave. That's what I think about this business credit card. Um. So again, people, just to go through it real quick, Navy Federal, not reporting. FNBO, reporting to Dun & Bradstreet. Uh, Bank of America, reporting to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian. You already know the process on the chase. No for the Wells Fargo business. No for the American Express 
a plus card and no for the American Express cash card. I got a list of other, but I got that coming down the line. Um, I still got the um, tier two gas cards I need to bring to y'all. I'm trying to get all this information for y'all. I need y'all to lock in. I need to make sure y'all are making the right choices when y'all applying for these cards. Just don't be applying for cards. I had a person, I did a one-on-one. -on -one, they had five credit cards, so excited in a year, and none of them was reporting to the business side. So people, just I want you to really think about that. You have credit cards that don't report. What's the sense of it? Yes, you can say, I could take the money, use it. It won't report. It won't show my debt. You know, I like to hide the debt. But at the end of the day, when you're starting off, you need these reporting to make it grow so you can have those great scores and you can start getting that business funding ASAP. Again, people, I think I dragged this video out, uh, out long enough. I appreciate you. I need you to get in the comment if you knew about this, if you had any information. If this was help to you, I need you to get in that, com uh, in that um, comments below. Please, man, show me some love, man. I appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. But for now, I'm up out of here. Peace.